Okay, so I'm a hum as well. I didn't say hello, but hey guys, yeah. Basically, Natalie was just saying that we should go over like the last lesson that we did, like module 51. Okay. That was like the yeah. most complex one or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so um uh yeah and so yeah okay we can do that first and then if there's any like questions about the quiz or something like that i guess well, any of us could answer okay let's just look at the notes then do you want to do textbook problems for this for 51 yeah i can do textbook problems too let me just go over this let me just look at this really quick Wait, let me stop sharing really quick. Oh my gosh, my laptop is like going crazy. Oh, Zoom is not responding. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay, can you guys see this? Uh, it's still loading. Oh, this, it now. just says you've started screen share. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why my Zoom is being so slow. Okay, yeah, I just want, I just, I just also like feel like I need to go over like the definitions and stuff. That's sort of the main thing. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, so we know the utility is like measure of personal satisfaction, benefit, things like that. And then the total utility is the total satisfaction. And then marginal utility is how much you get from each additional unit. So we know that's TU over Q. You know? Yeah, it'll be really important to pay attention whether it says marginal or total, because like I kept on reading marginal as total and total as marginal. And I was like, mm -hmm. all I was thinking about was utility. So then I got some of the problems wrong because of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, as it says marginal utility is the slope of the total utility line. So we can see that the slope is decreasing. And so we can see here, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, this is the example that we did. Yeah, and then that whole idea is the diminishing marginal utility, which is why that. Wait, did she really take a picture of her tacos? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Maybe she found this online. No, I think she took that picture. It looks like something that she like she took oh, as really? a picture. Yeah. I didn't even notice that in class. I didn't either. I wasn't paying attention when she <laughs> talked about that though, because I was writing notes now. Um okay, yeah, these definitions. Okay, yeah. So the consumption bundle, everything that is bought, and then the budget constraint is what limits the cost of how much you can buy, which is, I guess this, okay, so this is here less than or equal to the income. So that makes sense. And the optimal consumption bundle maxima, that maximizes your total utility, given how much your budget is, mm -hmm. possibilities, or all the possible consumption bundles that you could do. And then the budget line is in the graph, which shows the consumption bundles when you spend all your income. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and then obviously the uh, optimal consumption bundle will always be on the budget line. Yeah. Okay. So just like common sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then this is the example we did in class. Um, okay, wait. So there was a typo on this part. This, this part here? Uh, well, it was like, Okay, so um, the math on it is right, like where it would be 10 divided by four, which would be 250, and then six divided by four, which is 150. So on the one before it, um, the math isn't right. And it was basically saying that if you had two of each, like two pounds of clams and two pounds of the um, potatoes, that it would equal 72, but the math isn't right. So it was like really confusing. 
think and she I talked changed. to her about it. Yeah, I think she changed yeah. it. I think she she like changed it. Okay, yeah, it seems but, like-, like if you read the textbook, like so she took a screenshot of it and she put a four next to it to like change the number to show you which one was right. But like if you read the textbook and you go over this part, there's math in it that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I and, see. I like see. it's a typo. Okay. Let's go to the textbook questions. Um, okay, let's go to the school gym. Hey, I have the answers pulled up uh, right now. So if you want, like, you can just, we can work through the problems and then I can just tell you if we, if you have the right answer. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let me just pull up the textbook. This is what, module four? Oh, 51, 51. Module 51, yeah. Yeah, okay. I have that exact one pulled up. I'm just going to guess. It's like page 75. No, it was like four, uh, it was like 550. Oh, wait, right, right. That's, um, yeah, 550 is module 51. I forgot that it was like after. Okay. 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 Okay, number one. Generally, each successive unit of good consumed will cause marginal utility to... Oh, this was a question on the... Yeah, we did these. Did we do all? Decrease. Oh, we okay. did all of them. Do, do you want to just talk about them one more time just to like- Yeah, sure. Know. So the first one we know is decrease. Yeah, because it's marginal and not total. If it was total, then an increase at a decreasing rate. Yeah, so that's right, Mom, right? Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, and then this one, obviously it was just the- uh, You just do the math. Yeah, it's just B. You just multiply. Okay. This one, the optimal consumption rule states that total utility is maximized when all income is spent and... Um, um, it's A, right? Utility, it's A. A, yeah. Uh, I can okay. just triple, or yeah, double check. This um, has to be marginal utility per price. Yeah. Well, that's just because you're making each dollar like equal. Yeah. And then you're trying to check like if it's efficient, like mm -hmm. per dollar. Okay. Oh, this is the one we did in class. So. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to talk about it? Because I don't remember. I don't even remember the answer. It was more of one good, but it know. was. Yeah. It was less of good B. I wait. Uh, it says. Okay. Yeah. So wait. 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 Question is this? No, it was more of good B. Yeah. Yeah. So this one you do 100 minus. Um, you do 100 divided by, by two, two which and 80 50. divided by one. And then she, I remember she, remember she was like, whichever one is more, that's the one you should have more of. Did she say? Yeah, whichever one. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, did she say whichever one has more marginal utility per price, like the higher marginal utility per price, that's the one that you buy more of? Is that? Is yeah. That what she said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wrote down, whichever product has the higher marginal utility per price, you should buy more. Yeah. Okay. Um, the optimal consumption bundle is always represented by... Um, on the consumer's on the, budget. Yeah. On the consu consumer's budget line. Right. Uh, the answer says yeah. On the on the consumer's budget line, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. If we want, do you want to try these? Actually, wait, maybe we should maybe we, you want to do these like tomorrow to prepare. I don't know. So you yes, can do, do one that. and then Save the others for later. Yeah, we can do okay, there's two of these. So wait, I don't I have no paper. Okay. Assume you have twenty dollars. Oh, this is literally the isn't this the one we did? 
No. It's not? Okay, no. Okay, assuming you have $20 to spend, draw correctly labeled budget line. This, oh, is this the answer? Oh, it gives you the answer? Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, I think it is giving you the answer. Oh. Uh, wait. What? What's happening here? It's ready to punch the line. Um. Five, well, you would just get points for drawing it correctly and then the other stuff. So yeah. that's what, like it says one point graph with the axes. And yeah, then... I'm just a little confused about how they know that, about how it's five snacks at, and zero drinks and zero snacks and 10 drinks. Because like if you scroll down, yeah, then it would be like, you would have five snacks or 10 drinks. Yeah, but how did they because, figure that out? Because at the, it, on, and on the table, it says one, two, three, four, five snacks. But yeah. for some reason, it only goes up to eight with drinks. So that's a typo again. Ugh, I hate this. It textbook. should be 10. Holly? Oh, so it should be 10? Yeah. She said that there's a bunch of typos in this book because... Um, it was a free oh. textbook, and so they didn't revise it super well. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So then determine the marginal utility and marginal utility for dollars spent on the fourth drink. Okay. So then the marginal utility on the fourth drink, 36 minus 29 is 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Oh, Zacharia is here. So that'd just be 3.5, right? Okay, yeah. What is the optimal consumption rule? Okay, so here it says, okay, yeah, this is basically that question. Told you, oh, so hi, Zacharia. We're doing this first for your response. We're doing the, we were just looking at the textbook questions for module 51. And so we're doing this first free response question. Alrighty. Okay, the optimal consumption rule. So it just says, just the same thing, marginal utility per dollar is equal. That's when total utility is maximized. Makes sense. Okay, let's try, let's all try doing D and see if we can figure this out. Oh, wait, actually, can we do it? Actually, I guess we'll just do it up till eight then. Were you guys? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Up until eight. I guess. I guess it doesn't matter in the sense of the answer.
Okay, sorry, that was my mom talking to me. Okay, so did any wait, I have a question. Yeah. Did anyone understand her explanation as to why total utility is maximized like when the marginal utility per dollar is equal to the other one? Are you talking about that one question in which she was like uh she's talking about how like if you want fuck I have to find a question, but like uh is that, dude, oh, this wait. is <laughs> No no okay, I'm sorry. It, it rolled off the tongue. Okay. Uh Okay, nobody's really gonna like watch. Like that's true, yeah. But okay. uh, <laughs> Miss Haven watches it. Oh, I hope Please. not. Okay. So basically, if you want like decrease MU of like, okay, it's like whatever you have more of, you decrease the MU of. No, 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 I understand that, but she oh, was okay. trying to explain like like that exactly why, like total like when total utility is maximized, like um the. MU divided by P is equal to like, is equal for both products. Like she was trying to explain like why, and she didn't really do it very well. And I didn't understand what her like logic was. Uh, I don't know how I can help you though. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so did everybody get six drinks and two snacks? Is that good? I, I got uh, yeah, 15 MU. I got 10 MU on the snacks and 5 MU on drinks because I think uh, 2.5 matches. Actually, I might have screwed it up here. Actually, I'm not sure if I screwed up or not. Did you guys get that? What? Uh, like, what's it called? Did you get 10 MU on, uh, when it said like how many drinks and snacks should you put just to maximize your total utility? Did you put a, did you put two snacks and uh, uh, what would it be, six drinks? Yeah. You did? Okay, awesome. I see, I got it right. I, I know why I was referring to the MU because I had to, since I came, I had to craft the whole thing. I don't craft the whole thing. You don't just put it in a table. Mm -hmm. My own code. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Good, everyone. Okay, is everyone good with this? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do we want to do the next one? I don't know if the next one has an answer, actually. Do we need to do the next one, or do we understand? like how to do basic division and addition. <laughs> to do or not to do. I mean we don't have to do it. I could try and we could try and find some like AP questions if we want to. Okay. Um, I was doing Khan Academy earlier. Khan Academy has questions on utility maximization if you wanna look on at what? Those. Khan Academy. On utility maximization. Um Academy. Did you say utility maximization? Yeah. Okay. Is this what you are referring to? Uh, I think so. Okay, guys, I was reading and I was, I was looking at the thing that was talking about like utility maximizing stuff mm -hmm. and why um, marginal utility per price for like two goods would be equal. And basically the explanation is a sensible economizer will pay twice as much for something only if in the marginal comparison, the item confers twice as much utility. So that like basically if like someone's reasonable, the only way that they'll buy something 
is if price matches like the marginal utility and so that's why it would be equal for two goods okay but hear me out you repeat that again because my internet blanked i'm so sorry <laughs> you disappoint me yeah i, okay. I blame my internet man you so like, basically uh, uh, what miss haven okay. didn't oh wait okay um one of the main like rules in economics is you have to assume that the consumer is rational with their like choices of buying they have good judgment yeah yes so the i mean obviously that's not how it is in real life all the time yeah. but the way that people like were explaining the reason that like the marginal utility for price of one good would equal margin marginal utility of price of another good would be that it says a sensible economizer will pay twice as much for something only if in the marginal comparison the item confers twice as much utility right. yeah this is the website i'm on yeah so it'll it basically if it's like if it gives you enough um marginal utility per dollar and it's like actually worth the price then it should equal because like they should be worth the same to you, which is why you would pay more for it. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, wait, let's that go. she she just didn't explain that, and she should have told us that like you have to assume that economists and like consumers are gonna try to be rational with what they buy. Okay, this question is I'm reading this question. It's kind of odd, but. Uh, Nate is irrational and doesn't understand that. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not actually choosing this one. It's kind of offending to Nate. Um, I guess. I guess it's either B or. I oh, it could be B. like Nate's marginal utility per dollar, but that's not a choice here, so I guess that's not right. Uh, wait, what'd you say? I was saying that I was thinking I, I thought it would be like Nate's marginal utility per dollar. From entertainment is higher than his marginal utility per dollar of food. But I guess that's not the answer, obviously. Maybe it's. I, how, how are marginal and total utility, like, how, how do you di differentiate those in this context? Not... Sorry. My, 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 cat's, my cat's in the room and knocked my mic. My bad. Wait, so is A the answer for this one? No, no, I don't think so. I think A is definitely not the answer. Irrational. I just I just accidentally clicked on A, but I'm not gonna choose that. Mm. I I guess maybe E. Is marginal utility? Yeah. I don't know. Should we just check and see? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, a fundamental assumption about consumer theories that consumers are rational. Yeah. Oh, let's write that down. Wait, let me get my notebook really quick. She didn't tell us that in class, which is like, I already knew that because I took the class over the summer, but. Like she should have told us that because that would have made everything make way more sense. Okay. Rational behavior is not based on total utility. It is based on marginal utility. Okay. If this were true, Nate would be willing to spend far less on entertainment than he is willing to spend. Okay. 
rational customer will be willing to purchase a combination of goods where the marginal utility per dollar spent is equal for all goods. We can tell based on his willingness to pay for these goods that he gets a thousand times the marginal utility from entertainment as the marginal utility he gets from food. Oh, so we're assuming okay, they're both I'm... equal. And that's how we're getting that. Yeah, I guess we're assuming that. Or like their per dollar is equal. Okay. okay. Well, you would assume you like you would kind of assume they're equal but you would mainly just assume that what he thinks is worth like a lot more like mm-hmm. in terms of marginal utility he would pay way more for that so you just think about it like in those terms as like what he values as being more okay rather than like how much it actually costs and then you would like i don't know how to explain it um I think I he would take saying. like the price like he would take the price of both of them and determine which one he thinks is actually worth it and since he gets way more um utility out of video games he thinks that it's worth more so he would pay way more for it okay let's go to the next question if the marginal benefit of activity is greater than the marginal cost of an activity, what action should an individual take? So if the benefit is greater than the cost, I guess that's what it's saying here. I think it's increased consumption. Yeah. Because another rule of economics is that you buy something if the benefit outweighs the cost. Right. So why would it not be maintained the same level of consumption? Um, wait, it might be. That's what I was thinking. But. In general, though, like you're supposed to buy something if the marginal benefit outweighs the cost. But I don't know about whether you increase it or just like keep consumption, because either way, so what do we say for this one? Um, Any thoughts, Maham, Zachary? I think, well, let's see the black or white here. Let's see the E. Uh, mm-hmm. well, one of them is going to be right, but... You guys want to flip a coin? I'm down. <laughs> well, let me I don't have my a coin. Wallet. Uh, okay, let's see. Flip see a coin. C is heads, E is tails. It's heads. Okay, we'll do C then. So maintain. Oh, Oh, now we get correct. Nice. What's the correct answer? Then do increase consumption. Okay, should we try again? Yeah. Okay. There should be it. Uh Huh? Yeah, that's right. Wait. Oh. All I saw was correct, and I thought that it was wrong, and I was like, oh no. Okay, so why is, if an action is marginal, a consumer could alter behavior and make themselves better off. If you get more additional benefit from consuming something than it costs you, then it's worth it to consume more. That's what I said. Okay. Yeah. Let me take a picture. It's just... Wow, these are good questions. Thank you for suggesting, Mom. I don't know the answer to any of these, but I'm <laughs> benefit out of it. Well, I hope you're getting something out of this. I'm getting something out of this. I wouldn't have come to that conclusion on my own. So, okay. Next question: Which of the following is true about at the optimal quantity, whether it is a quantity produced or a quantity per consumed? Um, what even is marginal benefit? Marginal benefit is additional benefit. Marginal cost is like what you would pay extra. So, is this B? No, I don't think so. Is it E? Wait, what? Isn't this what we were just talking about, I guess? 
Why is this so I, I think it's A. A? Yeah. Because whenever you buy something, you're always going to try to buy something based on whether the like your additional benefit is greater than like your additional cost. So if you like, I remember when I was reading the econ book oh, over the summer. I, was, I see. I one see. of the one of the examples of this was like if you ate an apple, and you paid ten cents, like for an extra apple, but your marginal benefit was like fifty points then you would eat the apple because the benefit is greater than like the cost okay. or some like something oh, along okay. those lines. Like, okay, but I'm it sorry. would also be like marginal utility per price. You would have to divide stuff and figure out like what would make it worth it to eat like the apple. Okay, yeah. Like I was confusing A and E, but. Yeah, and then there was another example where it said, if you were dating somebody and you had oh. like a certain number of like happiness points, and dating them like decreased your happiness points, then you wouldn't date them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Society. it makes sense then. Dude. <laughs> okay, let's check this. You said society. <laughs> that, oh. Bro. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe B. Let's just try B. Okay, yeah, that's right. Oh, I was like, I was like, no, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> if the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost, then the quantity is too low. Okay, I'm what? so confused. I'm what so confused mean? because in the textbook, it like it said that if the okay, benefit is higher than the cost, the then it's worth says. it and you should buy it. I think we should ignore the textbook. That's. I mean, it's gonna get Textbook questions. I'm just, <laughs> ignore Khan Academy or ignore the professor from North Lake that like wouldn't <laughs> let me submit anything because he got mad at me. Okay, wait. So the optimal quantity is achieved than when the marginal benefit is equal to marginal cost or when the total benefit of an action is maximized. Okay. If marginal benefit is lower than the marginal cost, the quantity is too high. What does the quantity mean? I don't understand. It's saying like the quantity of the product? Yes. Yes. So I don't understand why, what, like what it means here when it says. I, I think it was like what she was saying in class where like the, the, the less you buy of something, the greater like marginal utility for price points you get or like total, yeah, marginal utility. So, like, the less you buy of something, the, wait. I don't think marginal like, benefit is a term that we learned in class. It's right? not. Yeah, she didn't use that. Wait, hold on. I mean, it's still good if you learn it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just... I'm just saying, like, I want to make sure I'm not an idiot. Like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just... Is it not the same thing as marginal utility? It's not. It's not the same thing. Okay. But I kind of said it. Mar okay. Marginal benefit is the additional benefit above what you've already derived. And marginal cost is the additional cost to you over and above the cost you've already incurred. Okay. Marginal utilities describes the benefit that one economic actor receives from consuming one additional good. While marginal benefit describes what the consumer is willing to pay to acquire one more unit to good. So marginal utility, I guess, is if you've already done it, and marginal benefit is like what you're willing to pay. Why? Or why is it saying that? That's so odd. Okay, I guess marginal we benefit should be like not a thing. <laughs> additional benefits, though, like from what you've already done. Okay, we have one more question, so I guess let's wait. Alina, look up marginal cost versus marginal benefit. Also, oh, marginal cost affects the producer. They should wait. They should clarify what? What are all these terms? I don't understand this. 
Well, also, this is module 51, and to get to module 51, we're going to have to learn a lot more terms than what we've already learned. So I don't think anyone's going to ask us, I think it's going to be like, how many apples do you need to maximize your pear consumption? It's not going to be anything like this, <laughs> I think, because there's a lot of terms hoping, in between module 4 and module 51. I mean, I'm hoping it's yeah. just the, I'm hoping it's just the quiz plus marginal utility per price, and that I'd be perfectly fine with that. Like basically the thing we did in class, like the review thing. That would, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Wait, one more question. And then we can try the marginal utility, just not the maximization, but just the marginal utility practice. Like that'll be more like our speed, you know. Practice total. Yeah. Practice total utility and marginal. Yeah. We'll yeah. Let's try that one. Okay. Wait. Which of the following does not describe decision making based on marginal analysis? Okay. Um. Um. Okay. It's not B. It's not C. I don't think it's E. Wait, can I go back to, can we go back to the last question? Because I want to tell you what I like wrote from my textbook um, in my I don't notes. Know if we can go back. I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> it was asking, maybe, it was asking be about this. marginal benefits and marginal costs, right? Mm -hmm. In my notebook from the textbook, there was an important point that it told you to write down. And the point was, if the marginal benefits exceed the marginal costs, do it. If the marginal costs exceed the marginal benefits, don't do it. So that's why I said See, yeah, the then, other thing. Wait, which text and then, was this? Like the one we have? It was the... The you know, thick one? Like the, the one yeah, you the took summer up the summer one? Or was it? Yeah, it was, it was, um, what's that one textbook brand that everybody knows? Pearson? Pearson? No, there's another one that's like two words. Uh, um, oh, it was McGraw Hill. Oh, I see. So I'm confused because the, that was saying two totally different things. Yeah, maybe we could ask her on Monday. I mean, tomorrow. Yeah. The thing is, we haven't learned this yet, technically. We haven't learned marginal benefit. Hopefully, if there's like a... Wait, tomorrow's B-Day, right? Yeah. Yes. Did she move the ESS test? Huh? Did okay. she move the ESS test? Uh, she told like some kids that she did. Yeah, because she never uh, told all class, but Taylor told me she did to Wednesday, so I, I'm a bit lost. Yeah, I don't know. She is very confusing, and she told me I was stupid, so... Yeah. I think this one is A. Right? Um, why don't we just hit, let's just press a random one. <laughs> okay, I think it's A. So I'm... It's not very scholarly. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. A genius. Okay, show summary. Um... Wow. <laughs> We're so intelligent. <laughs> okay, do we want to try a, a let's, let's try total utility, marginal utility. I feel like that's not going to be as bad. Okay, wait, let me see if I took a picture of the other one. If I did, then I can show it to Miss Haven. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Well, okay. Okay, let's try this one then. Okay. Enzo is deciding what is the maximum number of times Enzo will go to the gym? Um. Six. Six, six or seven? What are the answers? Oh, I guess seven then. Seven. Right? Yes. We all agree on yeah. that. Okay. Yep. It'll be seven. Okay, great. We're so hey, smart. This, this one is a lot better. <laughs> According to the law of diminishing marginal utility, which of the following is true? C, right? Yeah. I it was D. Uh -huh. Oh, the C. 
Yeah. Let's see here. The totals. Should be D, I think. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, D. Okay. Wait, are these really AP questions? I don't know if these are AP questions. Potentially. AP college microeconomics. Yeah, but I don't know if they do like. Is oh, that why'd you do a reaction? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I felt like it. What kind of reaction? I, I can't do yeah, that. What type of reaction is that? Look at the reaction. Tell me what the first thing you think of. <laughs> That's so odd. Okay, wait. Let's look at the next one. Plus. What is the term for what? Oh, okay. Melanie still enjoys drinking jasmine green tea. But she receives less and less additional happiness with each tea. Okay, we just talked about this. The missionary emotion. I'm, I wonder which one it could be. I too. Yay. Okay. Uh. Christine's marginal utility of yo. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this... Wait, I want to know who, who eats that much yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Only a spoonful. So the comically large spoonful. So is this, so is the is the oh wait never mind never mind to, if she consumes four cartons of yogurt in a week wait go go up it would be 12 plus 10 plus 8 plus 6 uh 12 to wait wait it should be 36, 36? So it should be 36 Okay. Uh, wait, wait, sorry. I need to. One second. Uh, this is four cartons. Okay, oh, yeah, so twelve plus ten plus eight plus six. Uh, it's oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Total guys. utility is the sum of marginal utility for each consume. She gets twelve units. Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Wait, Alina, are you using Microsoft Edge? Wait. Yeah. Alina. <laughs> sorry. Alina. I'm sorry. Oh, Alina just I, lost her computer privileges. I am no longer going to associate with you. <laughs> no. I just don't. Okay, this is st really stupid, but I just don't like using Chrome. And so I just don't use it. Well, Microsoft Edge is only good for like the PDF reader because yeah. you can like draw on it. Oh yeah, I like that. But other than that, Alina, I'm gonna cancel you. It doesn't like affect it doesn't affect me in any way. And so I just like continue to use it. <laughs> okay, anyways. Wow guys, we Wow. Okay. Do it's we like we won this topic? Okay, wait, are there any ones in the homework? I mean on the quiz that you guys wanted to go over? I'm gonna pull out my stuff real quick. Wait, let me, I have, we've gotten so many papers already. I don't even know how to keep track of all of them. I mean, you can consider that a bad thing, but at the end of the day, it's, it's good, a lot yeah. of grades, yeah. I have like a 98 in a class, I think. That's pretty awesome. I mean, are you talking about the quiz? Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere where I didn't realize I messed up. Like, I understand why I got the question wrong. Yeah. 14, I just thought it was solvable, even though it wasn't. Uh, and three, I just didn't put a new line like an idiot. And I just put a, uh, a point. I mean, that's why I got my stuff wrong. Yeah, and I just anyone else? one mistake. But that was just because I didn't know the definition of something. That was pretty much it. Um... I got a hundred on the quiz, so yeah. if anyone needs the, and oh, if you need the answers, I can just give them to you. Oh, she gives you the answer. You got it wrong. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn, show off. Yeah, I, just, I got one of the multiple choice questions wrong. Zachariah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> wait. I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have a speech. <laughs> okay, so also. I asked this before the quiz and she was like, oh, you're not going to need to know this, but it literally was on the quiz. So I guess this is now like, I guess it's like a rule. I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, like, uh, we should just label 10. her as unpredictable. 
true and where it's like would trade be beneficial for Rayland and it's where it's like four hats for one bicycle and like that's what their opportunity cost is as well I guess if it's e- it, it can't be if it's like equal to then it would not be beneficial but if it's you know less than then it would be beneficial but if it's equal to then it's not because I didn't know that and then I just I hope for the best on the quiz and, but yeah that's pretty much it mom do you have any questions about the quiz no I know what I did wrong okay um what was the one that we were looking at on oh the homework okay wait I know oh she said number 13 was difficult yeah yeah do we want to go back to that sure uh, which homework may I ask? Uh, Number 13. It's the Friday. thing we were doing in class on Friday, the unit one. Uh, the practice questions? Yeah. Yeah. Number 13. Number 13. That one wasn't hard, I don't think. I got uh, C. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Did, did you guys get C? Just checking. I didn't finish this one because ah. she, the she said the answer was D in the textbook or something. Yeah, I told her that's incorrect because if you okay. The it's, only way. Yeah, sorry, keep going. Hold on, wait, let me let me just figure out if my camera still works. My desk is a bit messy, but I think it's fine. The only way you can get a hundred oh, 280 wait. noodles is one hold on. is like one is three ball toss games and five video games, but that's not 1050. So that doesn't work for D. So D can't be the right answer. It, wait, hold on. Uh, sorry, could you just repeat what you said? I just kind of zoned out for a second trying to fix my camera. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's your total fine. Okay, so where it says number, where D, where it says her total utility will be 280. Yeah. That The only way that's like possible is either through... Okay, well, seven ball toss games and zero video games, but you can't do that because that doesn't equal 1050. Mm-hmm. And then three ball toss games and five video games because that equals 280, but that's also not 1050. So neither of them. Are- I believe I chose C because I, I labeled the MU and MU uh, uh, divided by money, right? I don't know what, what that term is called. I'm so sorry. But I. Marginal utility for price. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I'm not thinking straight today, man. Okay, so <laughs> I got uh, 40 MU for full quantity of ball toss games, which should be, I believe that is uh, $8, which leaves $2, you know, $10.50 minus $8 is $2.50, right? Which means that because of that, you could buy five quantity of video games and that'll equal uh, $2.50, right? So you have full quantity, uh, full ball toss games, five video games, right? And if you add up that to, wait, no, I, I screwed up somewhere, hold on. Shoot. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> will be 40, 40, four dollars times eight, cents, five. What did I do wrong? Uh, you know, maybe we should just like ask her before class to explain. I think it's also. Oh, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, go no, ahead, man. <laughs> paying attention to all this. Wait, I, I figured I think, it out. I think it's also C. That's like what I'm getting as well. I but, figured it out. I think. I'm so sorry. I, again, uh, so no, I got so this full. There's a this full ball toss skins, right? And there's five video games. If you add up the total to you from both, it'll be 220 plus 100, which will be 320. And 320 surpasses D, which is 282 to you. So it should be C for my math. I think, I yeah, I think it's that. And also the price checks out. Yeah. Plus two is eight, five times 0.55 mm-hmm. is 250, which is 1050. So I think C is the only one that makes sense. Yeah. Because B implies that... Uh, he doesn't like work if you yeah b implies that you bought six video games which is 105 to you but that yeah. means that you bought uh you can't that means you have seven dollars and 50 cents left which means you can only buy uh 
three ball toss games, which is 180. And 180 yeah. plus 105 is like 285, right? Okay, so that's just not good either. So B is 280 to you. D is two, uh, sorry, B is 285 to you. D is 280 to you. E doesn't even make any fucking sense. So just ignore <laughs> that. Uh, it's really just C. I think if you nail it all down. And A is like... A doesn't work because it's money as well. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not optimal or whatever. It's not optimal, yeah. So C, C just has the greatest to you output. Yeah, so that's just... It. Yeah. So I think it's C as well. Yep. Okay, I'll be back in one second. Good. I should probably stop cussing. <laughs> you know, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they'll, they'll forgive me because I have the impediment. Is it funny? That, wait. <laughs> that? I don't think that logic works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think my Zoom just crashed. Oh, wait, never mind. So, are we good with that one? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's almost been an hour. Are there any other questions, I guess? Or do we do we want to do more problems? I don't know. Can someone just... I'm so sorry. I, I, I understand it, right? Okay. I understand yeah. that if you buy... Okay. Can we go back to number nine and just go over it? I know how to get to the... And I know how to get to the end, right? I know how to solve the question. It's just, I want to understand how I'm solving it, if that makes sense. Okay. Because she did not, in my opinion, she didn't teach it the best way she could. Okay. Does anyone else, does anyone else want to explain this? I can, but. All right. Good. Okay. I can explain it. So basically for these one, for this like type of question, it gives you that it's a hundred utils. And so that's um, the marginal utility, right? So you're trying to find the marginal utility for price. Right. So you do 100 divided by one, because it's- It's $1. $1, yeah. And then you do 400 divided by five. Five dollars, right. Which is- 80. 80. Oh, wait. Uh, I, <laughs> again, I'm not thinking straight, so. No, it's okay. And then remember <laughs> that, do you want me to do it like, okay, well, remember that thing where she was saying that if the, whichever one has the higher marginal utility per price, that's what, which one you're going to buy more of. Yeah, that's, that's what you're going to buy more of to decrease the MU, right? And so then for that reason, the answer is C, more markers right. and less papers. But do you always have to draw, do you always have to draw the graph? No, the I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I think most of these are going to be multiple choice question. I think it's, it's a yeah. multiple choice question anyway. So hypothetically, could I just I say, think... oh, wait, hypothetically, could I just say buy more markers to decrease MU, buy less papers to increase MU, and would I still get the point for saying that? Or... Wait, what? Wait, yeah, what did you say? Sorry, I would say buy more markers to decrease MU, like marginal utility, and buy less papers to increase marginal utility. Would yeah, but I think, some... I think you should also explain some... why. I think also say maximize utility. Sort of... Just use econ words. Like ju just say like optimal you uh wait optimal consumption bundle and just right. use like econ words and she'll like it and then she'll give you points. I'll just select the the choice and just write optimal consumption bundle and I'll just get the point. You can say like to in to increase the marginal utility, you have to decrease the amount that you're buying so that it goes up on the budget line and yeah. vice versa for if you're buying more. Like, so I could say, like, like I'm, I'm changing these, like uh, my production, like not graph. production, my consumption in both to uh, reach the budget line for optimal consumption, right? Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Nice. All right, done. Uh, that's it for me, I think. A anyone else? Okay. Let me stop sharing then.
That scares me. Twitter. What? <laughs> I just said uh, it had like social media things on there, and one of them was Twitter. Oh, I see. Okay. I Twitter. So I'm gonna stop recording then.